Hey, my name's Ash, and thanks so much for joining me. This week we have a mandibular canine, which started to puss out when I started the root canal therapy. And in the video, we have a couple tips of what I had to do to troubleshoot to get to the apex. You know those moments where you think, ah, why won't this root canal go the way I want it to? Well, hopefully these tips will help you get to the apex. And then finally, I just wanted to review kind of the clinical examination and the simple tips that I've been taught to come up with the proper diagnosis. So a 75 year old male presented with his mandibular canine with this large endodontic lesion and here it is intraorally and essentially we diagnosed the tooth as necrotic with asymptomatic periodontitis. So we just did a really basic endodontic access using a number two long surgical round burr. And I go to place my 10 file and this thing does not go to length and it comes out all bent up and I'm thinking, okay, well, I need to open up some more. So I look away, get my wave one goal ready and boom, here's the pus. So you can hear us speaking like chipmunks because the video is sped up eight times. And here I'm just opening the coronal two thirds of the tooth to see if we can get any more drainage. So I'm going to be creating a course on one of the platforms to for people to learn, you know, step by step by step how to do a root canal the way that I've been trained and actually what's worked for me for the last five years. So watch for that upcoming and it's going to be free. So this video is at 20 times and honestly, as I look at it again, it looks like it's a an erupting volcano. Oh. So remember I haven't gotten to full working length yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a wave one gold to open up the coronal two-thirds, irrigate all the debris out, and then try to get working length after I've irrigated and cleansed out the coronal two-thirds so I can I only have to battle the apical third. So this is the type of bend I needed to get to the apical third and get working length, and that bend actually goes towards the buckle. I use my apex locator, and right now we're a little bit long. And then we're going to get back right to where I want it. That's the sweet spot right there. And I'm going to subtract one millimeter from that working length. So with the calipers, you can see that it's 25 millimeters on the wave one goal file right to where that bevel is. And I'm going to use take that take advantage of that because I actually am able to use the full length of this 25 millimeter file because my working length with the apex locator was 25.5 millimeters. I'm going to cut short to, tw to 25 millimeters. So here, we're going to irrigate the heck out of this canal and then we're going to place calcium hydroxide and we'll continue this once we get the patient back. And you're probably wondering why did he not use a 31 millimeter file? Well, I am human and we ran out of 31 millimeter files that day. You're going to take a look at the clinical examination and it's a really quick overview. So what I do is I start off with palpation using a cotton tip applicator. I use this rather than using my finger because it's much more specific and I can see exactly which tooth is causing the patient problems. Next I'm going to be used, just do a quick probing with my perio probe looking for any type of generalized or very specific pocketing. Interesting to note this is a 75 year old male heavy smoker and he definitely does have some lack of keratinized gingiva on that tooth number 3-3. Next is mobility, and I use the Miller classification. We're just literally looking to see if we have any mobility between uh, the two instruments. And of course, now we're going to do the cold test. I use a little cotton pellet made out of a cotton roll rather than using a cotton tip applicator. A cotton tip applicator has been shown not to hold as much cold because it's so tightly woven. And of course, the final test is percussion today. You know what? Don't forget to subscribe, like, and really place your comments because I really appreciate them. Cheers.